which has got some huge changes to the epic items on the PB. If nothing has changed, you can expect those to hit the live servers in two weeks. Let's get started. Babin Cinder. Damage per tick got increased from 12 to 13, but the bonus HP scaling got cut in half. So this is a massive nerf to Bamis Cinder. Brutalizer, the lethality went from 8 to 5. Coldfield's Warhammer, 80 from 25 to 20. So you basically lose 175 gold in value. Fiendish Codex, from 35 AP to 25. So you lose 200 gold in value. The recipe for Glacial Buckler got changed. You also need a glowing mode and extra 50 gold. So the price of the whole item got increased by 50 gold to 950. Haunting Guys also lost 5 AP, so it now has 30. Halfbound Axe got 50 gold cheaper, but it lost 5 AD. Serrated Dark lost 3 lethality, it currently has 7. Then we also got changes to Spectral Skull. The recipe got changed, so now it also has Rejuvenation Bid, but the final price remains the same. But the health regen got changed, so it used to be 150% up to 10 seconds based on damage taken, and now it's 100% innate. Health in the Spectral Skull also got reduced from 250 to 200. Then we got Steel Sigil, the recipe got changed from Longsword Claw Farmer to Longsword Claw Farmer Claw Farmer, but the final price for the item remains the same. Tunneler got 50 gold more expensive, so it costs 1150 now. And then Verdant Barrier got a little buff, from 1800 gold to 1700 gold. Although this one is pretty surprising to me, because it was already a great item like Banshees, and the upgrade to Banshees is so expensive, so I guess even more people will sit on Verdant Barrier now. So it seems that AD carries will be most happy about all of these changes, excluding some Lethality AD carries, none of the normal Marksman AD carries items got touched, and pretty much all the other classes got hit. Let me know in the comments what do you think about all these changes, Thanks for watching, cheers.